So now we want to see how having, knowing that we have a vertical asymptote and knowing that there's only three possible answers for a limit as it approaches a vertical asymptote when it's of the form non-zero number divided by zero helps us actually solve a problem. So say we're trying to find the limit as x goes to 2 of x minus 1 over x minus 2. The first thing we try to do is plug in and see if we can figure out what the form of the answer is. So we do 2 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 2. That's going to give us 1 over 0. So that's a non-zero number divided by 0. That tells us we're dealing with a vertical asymptote. Now that we know we're dealing with a vertical asymptote, we know that if we look at the limit on each side, so we look at the limit as x goes to 2 from the left, and we look at the limit as x goes to 2 from the right, we know the answers for those problems have to be either plus or minus infinity. So this equals plus or minus infinity, and this also equals plus or minus infinity. But how do we know which one it is? So what we're going to do is try to reason this through. So if we have a number that is a little bit less than 2, but very close to 2, take a number a little bit less than 2, and we subtract 1, does that give us a positive or negative number? So we take a number a little bit less than 2, and we subtract 1, that's going to give us a positive number, because if it's close to 2 and you take away 1, it's still going to be positive. And then you take a number a little bit less than 2 and you subtract 2, well, a number a little less than 2 minus 2, so something less than 2, and you take away 2, you're going to have taken away more than you had, so you're going to have a negative number. And we know that if we have a positive number divided by a negative number, that's a negative. And since we know the answer now has to, ha has to be negative, and we know that the only choices were positive or negative infinity, we know that it's negative infinity. Now we can use similar reasoning as we approach 2 from the right. If we have a number close to 2 and we subtract 1, it's going to be close to 1, so it's going to be positive. But if we have a number a little bit bigger than 2 and we subtract 2, you have more than 2, you take away 2, you still have a positive number. And we know that a positive number divided by a positive number is positive. And since we know the only choices here are positive infinity or negative infinity, we know the answer is positive infinity. So in this particular example, we got negative infinity on one side and positive infinity on the other. Since these answers do not agree, that tells us the limit as x goes to 2 in general of x minus 1 over x minus 2 is equal to does not exist. So the method here that you want to use when finding limits that are approaching a vertical asymptote is you want to first determine the form of a non-zero number divided by zero. If you have that, you want to take the limits from each side. And then you want to determine whether each one-sided limit is positive or negative by looking at each term and determining whether that's positive or negative. And then you want to compare the one-sided limits to get the final answer. So in the example we just did, the first thing we did was we took the limit as x goes to 2, we plugged in, and we found the form is 1 over 0. Then we split it into the limits from the left and the right. We used some reasoning to figure out, by looking at both the top and the bottom of the fraction, whether the top and the bottom would be positive or negative, and so what the sign of the final answer would be. We found the sign for each answer, and then we put an infinity after it. And then we compared the limits from each side. If they had been the same on both sides, we would have said that was the answer to our limit in general. But since they were different, we got does not exist.